The depletion of petroleum prompts the exploration of cellulosic ethanol. It uses cellulase, an enzyme found in fungi, to harvest glucose from cellulose. How can the cellulosic ethanol process be improved for widespread use? The purpose was to discover feasible conditions for cellulase to degrade cellulose. The enzyme, temperature, pH, enzyme substrate concentration, and fungi were studied for their impact on the production of p-nitrophenol, a surrogate of glucose. 500 microliters of enzyme reaction was placed into stop solution. The amount of p-nitrophenol produced is derived from a standard curve generated from the UV absorbance at 410 nanometers. The enzyme generates p-nitrophenol at 8.5 nanomoles per minute. Every Celsius degree, there is a 1.2-folder increase in p-nitrophenol production. There is an exponential decrease of enzyme activity as the pH increases. Higher enzyme concentration increases the initial reaction rate. However, additional p-nitrophenol is not created. A high substrate concentration increases both the initial reaction rate and p-nitrophenol production. Among the four fungi tested, the shiitake mushroom produced the most p-nitrophenol. In conclusion, a high temperature, a 5.0 pH, high enzyme and substrate concentration, and the shiitake mushroom produced p-nitrophenol most efficiently. Calculations indicate that the shiitake mushroom can generate a gallon of ethanol for approximately $6.61, which is comparable to the $6.19 cost of the enzyme in the industrial scale. Once conditions are optimized, shiitake can be used for industrial biofuel production. Furthermore, shiitake significantly lowers the cost of industrial and academic biofuel research.